Hi, I'm Tim Reese with Gilmore Academy in Reach Hockey. Today we're going to be working on cutbacks. So cutbacks are a little bit different from a regular tight turn. Okay. So basically, like one of the many areas I'm going to use a cutback, you know, would be along the boards. Where if I'm skating this direction, you know, there's a defender skating right here. I'm trying to get away from the defender, get myself a little more time and space. I can't make a turn. I don't have enough room because if I try and do a regular turn, I'm going to run out of room. Okay. So I want to try and hang this defender up like he's, he's trying to cut me off on this side and I want to go the other way. I don't want to stop either, okay, because I don't want to lose a lot of my momentum. I still want to keep some of the speed I have going this direction and just take it back. So the movement's going to be initiated by my, by my inside leg, okay? So I'm going to get really aggressive with that foot, reach out in front of my body, get on my outside edge, and I'm going to use that as sort of an anchor so I get the rest of my body around, and then I'm going the opposite direction. Okay, so if I'm skating here, again, I don't have room for a tight turn, okay? I don't want to lose all my momentum by stopping, so I'm just going to be skating here, and that my foot in, with my outside edge, get my head and shoulders around, and now I'm out this side. So like I was saying, the most important part of the cutback getting really aggressive with that outside edge and getting that full edge right in front of your body. Okay, so I want, basically the shape I'm looking to form is going to be out of 90, 90 degree angle here. So I really want to reach out in front of my body and get that whole outside edge dug into the ice. So I, the first drill is going to work on just getting comfortable with that movement. So we're just going to be skating down the ice. We're going to take about two or three strides. And then we're going to jam the outside edge in. We're not going to come to a complete stop. It's just going to be enough to slow us down, change our speed, take another couple strides, jam the edge in again, take another couple strides, jam the edge in again. Okay? So the really important thing here is your weight placement. So you really want to be conscious of where you're putting your weight on your foot. You don't want to be too far back in your heel. You don't want to be all the way up on your toe. You want to keep your weight around the mid to ball of the foot area on your, on your foot. Okay? That way you can make sure that you're getting your full outside edge dug into the ice. So like I said, I mean, if only if you're digging too far back or too far forward, that's where you're going to see little little dots in the ice where you're sort of making like a Morris code thing going down the ice. So you want to go through that progression, go working one leg at a time until you're comfortable. Once you get comfortable, you can work that same progression and then alternate legs. So these next drills are going to help us get more comfortable on our outside edge. So this next drill we're going to have the puck set up in a high low. And what we're going to do is just going to go through, folks, on making tight turns using just our outside edge. So that whatever foot is close to the puck, that's the foot we're going to use to go around the puck. When we get to our next turn, we're going to put our opposite foot down and use that foot to get around the puck. So it'll look like this. So now we're going to space our pucks out a little bit wider and now what we're going to do is we're going to basically do the same drill except now we're going to be focusing on really digging in with that outside edge. So it's going to be very, very similar to a cutback except we're going to over exaggerate it. So we're going to dig in hard at the outside edge, get our rest of our body turned around the puck and then accelerate into the next puck. Well, like I said, we're over exaggerating it so we can get a little bit more comfortable using our outside edge for a cutback.
So now that we're comfortable with the mechanics and the footwork behind the cutback, now we can start using our cutback and other drills that kind of mimic more game-like situations so we know when to use them during a game. The cutback is a very important skill for both defensemen and forwards. Okay, it's a very, very essential tool, especially if you want to play at an elite level. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video. Feel free to email us um, with any questions, comments at reachhockey2018 at gmail.com. And please check us out on Instagram at reachhockey.